if you buy into this distorted view of God, well, you really blew it, and you haven't been praying enough, and you haven't been holy enough, and you haven't been godly enough, and you haven't done this enough, and you haven't done this enough, so don't expect much from God. That's a theology that many, many Christians live in. They may not write down, this is my belief, but it's exactly how their mind works because it's been ingrained in them that God is a, God uh, operates on a uh, reward punishment basis and he doesn't operate on a reward punishment basis. Your reward, it, you could say, well, he does. Yeah, in one sense, he allowed Jesus to suffer all the punishment so that you and I could receive all of the reward. You say, oh, no, God, no, that's not fair. Then you should just not plan on going to heaven because that's not fair either because none of us deserve to go there. And the only basis upon which we are going to go is because Jesus took the punishment for hell so that we could take the reward of heaven. And it has nothing to do with anything you or I have done or could do or ever could accumulate over a million lifetimes. But let me tell you something. If that's how God operates with salvation, believe me, it's how he operates with everything. It's just how he operates. When you have, when you have a relationship with God based on Jesus then you're no longer focused on self. Oh, did I do this enough? Did I do that enough? It's instead you focus on Jesus. He did more than enough. The gospel is, it is finished. It's not, Jesus didn't say, I did my part, now you better do yours. He said, it is finished. He didn't say, I'm three quarters of the way there, guys. You got to finish the last quarter. He did it all. That's the gospel. That's what liberates the souls of mankind. That's what sets the heart free. Because you can't begin to dream the dreams God has for you. You can't be able to live a godly life, a holy life, until your heart is set free. And your heart can't be set free until you realize that there's nothing you have to do to earn God's love and acceptance.